Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow. What's up everybody? It's a beautiful Saturday, August the 10th, 2024. And we decided to come hang out in Cave Spring, Georgia. There's lots of nice antique stores here and other neat things to see. And there's a great restaurant here called Lindy, Lindy Marie's Steakhouse. We're gonna eat some lunch there and go check out the antique stores and we'll see if there's anything else to look at. So let's go check it out. The first antique store we're gonna check out is Antiques on the Square. Granny used to have one next to the stove where she would lit the gas stove. Yep. That's and a big one. On the back that it was hand painted. Hmm. Yeah, that's a big one. It's pretty. Yeah, because there's How a much smaller is it? one here. This one's 19 and this one is 39. Alright. Thanks, Shane. This booth has lots of nice stuff here. It's a nice big porcelain insulator. Yeah. How much is it, Chuggy? $4.99. All right. Got all kinds of neat stuff here. This is a white cedar cylinder churn. churn. How much is it? $1.79. Yeah. It's a nice old mirror for twelve dollars. This guy's sixty dollars. Yeah, lots of lamp sh shades, lamp globes. that Hoosier cabinet is. I don't either. Oh well. They got a whole bunch of insulators here. Yeah. Let's see if we find anything good. Film me, Shiggy. Hey, handsome. Hey, this one's cool. It's from Italy. It's seven dollars. Hmm. There's a lot of them in here. Lots of beehives and smaller telephone insulators. Looks like most of the common ones, but. see anything really special in here but I'm gonna look through them all real good and make sure they don't have anything like old, like nails or pieces of wire or big bubbles in them that makes them more valuable so I'm gonna look and see what I can find so here's the one in the group that was from Italy it was made in Italy but it was exported to the U.S. for usage here. This is only seven dollars. I'll probably have to buy it. Pretty neat. It says VMR Napoli. It's kind of different. Kind of a different shade here. Cool. All these dishes are really beautiful. I like all the different colors. Really pretty glazes. Let's see, I think this one had a maker on it. It says 
Russell Wright. The prices on these are good. Like some of these little plates and bowls are like four dollars. The bigger plates are ten dollars. The picture up there on the left is twenty nine. Pretty good prices. Those are real nice. I like some of the stuff in this booth. What's that say? Warning underground cable. Before digging in this. Southwestern city. Bell Selena Candles. Yeah, there's Warning. another one down here. Yeah, that one's a little rough. Selena Kansas. I like all the cans they have up here. Some oil cans. Oh, it says Imperial. It's like it's 85. Set. 139 for these five. Here's a nice variety of little jugs and pottery and different stuff here. Reminds me of my granny, she liked all these little knickknacks and different things from different places that they visited when they traveled around the U.S. back in the 60s and stuff. Love those. I like the little churn. Churn's $20. What does it say on here? Maple City Pottery. Cool. Thanks, Shuggy. What's that, uh... I like that little brown jug there. What does the one, one behind it say on it? October 20th and 21st, 1995. Okay, it looked older than that. <laughs> Alright. Well, those are all cute. Lots of neat kitchen stuff here. I like these corn cob salt and pepper crackers. Somebody just fell down back there. I like this picture, it's pretty. Let's see how much it is. $17. Pretty. Remember those commercials back in the 90s <laughs> from Budweiser? That's, that's funny. And Shaggy wanted me to show you this corn cob pig. It's $10. <laughs> Somebody made that. Alright, lots of neat stuff here. What'd you find, Shaggy? Found a lightning rod insulator. Alright, how much is it? Five dollars. Alright, let's see it. That's a good find. I'll definitely buy that. I found a green one once I sold for a hundred dollars in an antique store. Well it has a chip on it. Yeah. Alright. But it's still cool. Yep, good find. We showed this booth last time we were here about a year ago, but I'll show you guys again if anybody's into the crock stuff and pottery. They got all kinds of jugs and churns and anything you could want if you collect this kind of stuff. All different sizes. Some of them have some really nice markings. I love all the script letters on these. They're really 
nice. So much to look at in here. Sorry, guys. I can't tell you all the prices on these. If you see them, any you like, you'll just have to come and check them out. Got lots of nice stuff here. Lots of great decorative kitchen items in here. Like the AMP coffee can. It's nineteen dollars. I miss shopping at the AMP. Lots of other kitchen items here. To decorate your kitchen with, or be good movie props. Awesome. What you got there, Shiggy? I found the scoop that somebody made out of an old can. Mm -hmm. I love finding stuff like this that people made themselves. Yeah, Instead of going like, out and spending money, they, they made it with what they had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Let me see the handle on that. What'd they do there? Hmm. You see the screws on the inside? Yeah. That's pretty neat. But it worked well too, whatever they made it for. Lots to look at in this booth. I think most of these signs are newer signs, but we'll show them in the video, I guess. Some older signs in here. This one here is 49. Lots of hubcaps. Copenhagen snuff. That looks old. It's 89. It's a pins oil sign. I don't think it's old though. There's a Jack's beer sign. I don't see a price on it though. Lots of manly stuff to look at here. Lots of mantiques. I like this jack-o'-lantern guy here. And that ivory handled pistol. There's some date nails. Some locks, small doorknobs, some more pistols. Lots to look at. This is where we're gonna eat lunch at today. Lindy Marie Steakhouse. Cave Spring, Georgia. Our lunch was delicious. We both really enjoyed what we had. I got a Caesar salad along with a ribeye steak and broccoli. And Shiggy got grilled chicken 
a baked sweet potato and grilled veggies and she enjoyed all of it. It was really good. So go check out Lindy Marie's Steakhouse in Cave Springs if you guys go. The next stop is the general store. Collectibles, tools, antiques, and John 316. I like this Sinclair sign here. I don't know how old it is. The pole is rusty that's holding it. Nice little bottle tree here. It's $125. Some insulators and bottles. This little pedal car here. It is Kind of neat. It's two hundred ninety-five dollars. It's a big pulley. It says Sherman Riley Incorporated, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Twenty-two inch, seventy-eight series, whatever that means. It's an old Christmas tree holder. What's this here? It's like an old chest of some kind. It's nice. Can't really see the lettering on it. It's too far weathered. It's probably from an old general store or something. And here's a table for $195. Sorry, it's kind of dark. Let's go inside and see what else they got. This guy had a lot of great stuff inside his shop. My favorite item he had was this RoboTrack robot bulldozer toy from the late 1950s or 60s. It was $249. It was battery operated. I'm sure it was a lot of fun to play with. He said it worked. I really liked it and I thought about buying it, but I can't get into something else i got too much stuff but i really liked it i thought it was neat they don't make cool toys like they used to i love the robot on it and next he had this enamel table and chair set for $495. It includes seven chairs along with the table. Had a beautiful design on it. I like this roly poly clown toy. It was $16. thought it was neat and he had this leather sewing machine heavy duty singer sewing machine it was $450 I bet somebody would love to have that and he also had this spool rack for $39 here's some insulators I like this beehive insulator from the 1880s. It had a polywog in the backside, amber polywog 
inclusion in the glass, but it was priced at $20, so I passed. You have lots of cast iron and some other neat items over here, including this Westinghouse fan. And he had all kinds of little cans and different antique items to look at here. I see some weights for a cuckoo clock, I think, there. And some table leg ball and claw. Things that would go on the end of the uh, table or chairs. The glass was really worn down on the ball. Here's a some cans. I like the Folgers coffee can. Some more enamel pots and pans and nice little cabinet there. Some old doorknobs and hardware and a decorative horse. It was $39. And a few more items, pool ball set. I like this tobacco can also, it was $32.99. Have a blessed day. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video and keep watching in the future for more antique hunting videos and all the other stuff we enjoy doing. Until next time, thanks for watching. See y'all later. See y'all later.